Modern Soul Studios. I'm Karen Zima. Today we're going to work on this lovely panda painting. I had a request for a panda and it inspired me to do a little research on pandas and see what they're all about, where they come from, and, and how just how extinct they really are. So they deserve a painting. So everybody join in and let's paint a panda today. It's not too difficult. You just make that basic shape and I'll show you how to put all the wonderful colors and the bamboo into the painting. So, let's see, what can I tell you about this panda? I have made very subtle colors into the white, you know, so it's just not white and black. I, you know, put some depth to it. So, stay tuned. I'll show you how to create one of your own. Okay, some of the colors that I put out to start this painting are a baby blue, a crimson, a light purple, a yellow, a medium blue, a white, and a black. Now, I got all these lovely brushes in my last visit to California to see um, my family, my nieces and my sisters. And so my nieces brought me all these wonderful brushes. So I can't wait to try them out. So. Thank you to Madeline, Vanessa, and Yvonne. Nice job. Very thoughtful. Okay, so let's get started on this. I'm going to start with the eyes. And, of course, we need our black. And I think I'll try out this lovely Artist Log Vienna uh, 3 eighths of a brush, 3 8 quarters. And it's sort of tapered. It's tapered down. So that would be a good way to start putting in some of our black tones around the eye. Start putting them in, laying down, because there's going to be some blues and purples in this black, maybe some reds, anything to give it more color than just black. So I like to paint in layers. So we are going to just put down this first layer. And of course these will be like jutting out little hairs all around here. So now the interesting thing about uh, a panda bear is when they're cubs, they're the black around the eye starts out as a circle. But then the older they get, that circle starts turning into like a teardrop. And I thought that was a very interesting fact. And when I paint an animal, I love painting animals, but when I paint an animal, I like to look up some fun and basic facts about what I'm painting. It's just the way I am. And this is going to be a very lovely painting, I can tell. And if it's not a very lovely painting and I'm not happy with it, you'll never know. You'll never see it. This is his nose, so let's get in a nose shape here. This is a very dry, dry canvas. And it's not glazed like some of them. So it might take more layers of paint to seep in to get those layers. Layers and layers. Alright, now. He's going to have white around his eye, but in the center, we get our black. We got our basic, basic black going on there. And let me see, that will come down like that. And put it out, put it out here. And it's going to be darker shaded. ears are black, so let's go ahead and get in our first layer of black on his ears. I guess it doesn't take much to get a uh, panda to look adorable. They are just born that way and they can't help it. I am 
I'm hoping this comes out the way I envision it. This is darker. Round it in there. You know, I don't know if I should keep working, like pulling the hairs out and making the fur, or try and put some of the background in so I can see how it's going to blend together. Because the fur is going to take a long time to pull all the little fuzzies out. I have to work on the ears. That's what I could do. And the ears are going to have some orange tones and some green tones. So I'm putting in a little orange there. Mix it up. to 
so we can get a good idea of the colors that are going to come together in the end by putting in some of the background. Just get it started. And this is probably where I'm going to have to speed this painting up because I don't think you're going to want to watch me paint a full background. Well, at least this part of it. This is just going to be a solid green. Then we're going to put in different tones so you won't miss anything while I'm putting this on. some of the colors underneath show through. Go in the direction of the fur with your brush. color as I could. If you look real close, you'll see pinks and yellows, blues, greens, oranges, purples, everything, but it's very subtle. So he does look like pearlescent almost. So now it's time to work in the background, and what we're going to do is get the bamboo going. And the colors I put out for the background are this kind of light yellow, um, 
kind of army green, a phthalo green, kiwi, kiwi green. It's sort of like a shamrock color. There's a Christmas green and an orange. And I'm going to like kind of blend out more colors and then we're going to pull out some bamboo and work on that. So, I'm going to speak it. quits on this panda you gotta make a decision to stop because if you go too far sometimes you know I can wreck it I've wrecked many by not calling it quits on it so I'm pretty happy with it I like the bamboo background I like the colors and the texture in the bear he's got those subtle pinks blues yellows greens oranges everything very subtle not blatant uh, and he's cute and cuddly, and he is finished. So, I hope you guys had fun. So, till next time. Bye-bye. And don't forget to hit the subscribe and the like button, too.